Android Studio for developing our project. So let's click on New Project. And then you can either pick Empty Activity or the Google Maps Activity. But I prefer picking the Google Maps Activity because it would save us time setting up the configuration for for our map for the map of our project but if you prefer to start to start from scratch you can pick uh, empty activity and follow these instructions uh, on the google maps platform website this is the link so it, it will show you how you would uh, set up the configuration for the map adding the, the dependencies for for the gradle and the metadata that you need to 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 add for your Android manifest file so all of the steps are here so but I prefer using the Google Maps activity so let's click on this click on next okay and save it in a document configuration for the map is not yet complete even though we pick the Google Maps activity so we need to set it up the, the the API for the Google Maps. So we need to go here at Google Maps API.xml and then we need to go to this link. But before we create the API key, we need to create uh, a project here. Click on create API key. We already have the API key now. Let's just copy it and paste it. Uh, right below the code that you can run your program so and the marker is pointing in Sydney Australia because we do have a ready-made code here in maps activity file and as you can see on the on map ready method you will see the, the location is pointing in Sydney so this is just a sample code from the Google uh, activity that we have to open earlier. So we're going to delete this. And we're going to implement a location listener. And it's going to create an error because we need to override one method, which is the on location change method. So we're going to have that here at the bottom. Create a method, which is the get location method, and inside this method, we're gonna create code for the permission of the location on your phone. So inside our get location method, and this code checks if the phone's location permission is granted or not if it's not granted yet it's gonna fall under our if statement which is this code this code requests for uh, a location permission from our phone this shows a dialog on our screen and then once we uh, click on permit or accept something like that on the dialog box it would show permission granted otherwise it would show permission denied run the code and let's see if we're gonna click allow only while using the app it would show permission granted the thing that we're gonna do next is adding the, the map initializing the map so we're gonna transfer this to a new method So we're going to create a new method in the else in the else statement. Then we're going to paste the code here for initializing the map. So once it's been granted, it would call the location manager so it would call this method right here so this method would show the current location of of our device so we're gonna get the lat latitude and the longitude so we're gonna 
focus the camera on the current location of the device on the map and inside it we're gonna insert the longitude and the latitude values the method and um, I also used protein so that uh, we could put uh, this line of code these lines of code in the main thread not on the back not on the background so uh, add a dependency on your gradle project in the app level so this is the dependency that I added so after adding it you'll be able to use it here And in order for us to put the, the current location on the map, um, we need to put uh, a, a round blue icon on the map. All right, uh, an error here because it needs to check if the permission is granted. For the look and then let's run this app and let's see if we'll be able to see the blue dot for our current location now showing up on the screen where it represents the current location of the phone and it's in manila next is we're gonna delete the action bar on the top so we need to go to teams and then change this to no action bar Now the action bar is gone. Uh, put a search bar widget here on the top. Go to the layout file and then we're going to modify it. Add an, an image. Click on drawable. Right click on drawable. New. And then image asset. Then search for an icon. I'm gonna need the search bar widget on the top and also the the image that we just added. Next is we're gonna add uh, a method to this search box. Locate search method. This code gets the string from the search bar widget, and then it it uses the geocoder class in order to forget the the list of addresses and show it on the map using the move camera method. Let's create the init search method. method checks if the user clicks on the search button on the keypad on the, on the soft keyboard and if, and if the user does this locate search method will be called we're gonna develop the, the view dot hide keyboard method this method hides the, the keyboard method inside our init search method so if we're gonna test it and type we're gonna add uh, an automatic completion text Call the string array inside the onCreate method. Inside the onItems click listener, we need to call the locate search method to call the hide soft keyboard method inside the set contact item 
of listener. And let's test. Now, add a center button or a center widget right here. Widget is now showing up on the screen. Next is we're going to create a method for this widget. We click listener with our image view, which is the center DPS icon. And then inside it, we're going to need to create a new method. It's the parent location by using the kids location provider client class. And then it passes the, 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 the values into the new camera method. In this white background um, of the search bar, uh, I did that by using this border and then call it Now we click the, the center widget to go back to the current location. and I hope you like it. Thank you so much.